Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now today, President William Samuel Ruto had a joint sitting of the National Assembly and the Senate. And in his address, Ruto is advocating for the reinstatement of the National Government Constituency Development Fund, NGCDF. And uh, beside this, he is also advocating for the Senate Oversight Fund to be created. That means senators will be having a kit where they will be having money to use for doing oversight duties. And then members of parliament are going to control the CDF. Remember, the Supreme Court of Kenya made a ruling on this. CJ Mother Kome constituted a five bench judges to rule on the issue of CDF. And according to the ruling they made, it was clear that CDF was illegal and unconstitutional. This ruling was made in August this year. <laughs> and according to that ruling, they said that the law setting up fund was faulty, allowing MPs to manage funds offense division of revenue and public finance law. So it is unconstitutional for the national government to extend its mandate to counties. Because now, it acquired in a kinzana na separation of power. You have a county government and there is governor in that county. So what is national assembly national government doing there in the counties? <laughs> so beside having this ruling still Ruto is advocating to bring back CDF. Above all, senators will have money, which they are referring to money to use for oversight. <laughs> so, to me, I feel that the president want to try and uh, break the law. They want to try and use shortcuts so that they can have control of this money. Ruto swore to respect and protect the constitution of Kenya. And that is what it says when it comes to the issue of separation of power and the sharing of revenue. Why should the members of parliament control CDF? That is the question in the building today. <laughs> now, we are continuing with the final discussion, but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you have not yet subscribed, so my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once we release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who don't comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, if the court was very clear on the issue of sharing of revenue and what members of parliament need to do, what senators need to do, then what should the president do? Actually, according to this ruling, what Ruto should be talking about is how they are going to give more money to count government so that the count government will, will run the, area, the, the, the affairs of the count down there. Rather than having a national government which want to control the activities going on in the counties there. That's the truth of the matter. Why should they control activities going down in the counties? In a far pay pesa, my governor, 
so that they can run the activities there. And by the way, if the issue of CDF want to stay, if it was helping, and it is true, some people have been benefiting from that. I don't deny that. Schools have been built. People have got uh, uh, bursaries. So it has helped in a big way. But then, why can't they give this money to the county and then they can now have a kit for MCS? Now it will be World Development Fund. Because above all, MCA is the person who is down there in the village, who is reaching, who anyone can access easily. And by the way, not everyone can access a member of parliament, but at least most of us can access our MCS. So for me, if Ruto means mean good for the hustler in the village there, then the right person to reach out to the hustler it is the MCA in the village and not members of parliament. To a pesa, pay a governor. Na governor to a pesa, a pay MCS. And MCS can still do this job. Kama ni watu natafuta basari, kuna word something there. Let them get the money there quickly through their MCS. Even the issue of building schools and whatever. At MCS, when I talk about in words, these words have schools, I mean. Why can't they be trusted for this? And the governors have a mandate to do some of this development. Rather than now, you have money here, and then when you have this CDF money, you need to go back to the governor for him to allocate land for you, maybe, for you to come and do that development. Then why can't we give that money direct to them? Why is the president fighting to break the law? That's why I'm going to put on CJ. Why can't they respect the law? Because now, and I know all members of parliament, whether you are in Azmio or Kenya Kwanza, they are happy about this. They need to control this money. <laughs> I know they're very happy. So Ruto wants to please them. He wants to make them happy. So that they will not disturb him. Because even remember, we have a president here who don't have even a majority in the National Assembly. Now he has to buy people to come on his side. You coerce them. That's why he want to make them happy so that they will not concentrate on oversighting him. Actually, National Assembly and the Senate have a role to play. Oversight. Make laws. Senate, you have to oversight these counties, not to control money. So if they give you money, who is going to oversight you? This is also another way of creating corruption. Because these people now will have their deals here and there. But if they are going only to play an oversight role, then they will be checkmating these governors once you give them money so that to make sure they are doing the right thing. But now you are being given money. Who is oversighting you when you are doing, when you are, you are, uh, using that money to do the work in those areas. Who is oversighting? So for me, I feel Ruto is making a mistake. You want to control governors. You need to have more money at the executive there. And this is why BBI was a good thing in one way. When it came to the issue of deploy De de deploying more funds to the counties. Dispose more money to counties if you want to help hustlers so that the government in the county there, in the village government there, and through the MCS, they can feel the development in various wards. It will make sense to everyone. If you want to construct a road there, and why do we have county government? So this is even where corruption is happening. And to avoid this, give money in, to the rightful person 
and let members of parliament and senators oversight these people. Now, you want to create a kit for senators. For the past 10 years, senators have been doing their work. They don't have any kit. And they have been doing a good work. Now you give them money. <laughs> Yes, rather than giving them this money for oversight. Now, they use money for oversight. Really? How? Work on a gari, work on a office, work on a mushahara. And above all, Kenya, Kenyans member of parliament are the highest paid people in the world. So why create more money on their disposal? And deny governors money to do the work down there in the village. Money is needed down there to reach out to the hustler. Give more money to governors. And oversight these governors. If people are crying for CDF and bursary, let them get it through the governor in the in the administrative offices uko kwa MCA uko chini even we have something they are calling world development fund distribute that money through that channel <laughs> so for me i don't agree with the president on the issue of resetting cdf i don't agree with him on the issue of creating oversight fund for senators. To me, it's not making sense. The people are in the village there, the hustlers, people he called hustlers. And the right person to reach out to these people, Niao, my MCA, not members of parliament. So give governors more money, the way BBI was putting it. For you to inspire development in every village in this country, then a World Development Fund was the, something to be embraced and not NGCDF. I rest my case. Let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation.